Well, if there's a peacock bass on this boat, <laughs> he's gonna get lit up. But guys, this is the cold front has actually come through now. Yesterday we fished the border of the cold front as it was coming through. It was rainy. It wasn't quite cold yet, but it was just rainy, and the bite was on. As the 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 front has moved through, we don't have the rain anymore. We're just dealing with the the high pressure, so the pressure has gone up, and that's always something that people wonder about when they're fishing. Like there's always talks about barometric pressure and changes and how that affects stuff. And so now we have a cold front that's come through. The low pressure has moved through. Now we've got the high pressure, and we're gonna see how we do. Yesterday versus today, same time, same bait, just slightly different con conditions. And we're doing it, literally the same tactic as we did yesterday. Same place. Let's see how we do. You get followed? Okay, oh yeah, he's gonna eat it. He's gonna eat it. Twitch him, twitch him. I think it's pee. Uh, no, you, it might be a tilapia. It's a mine. It is a Mayan. Big mine cichlid. Cool. That's oh. not. Oh, come on. Lorenzo's catching Mayans. Oh, you just wasted a shiner on a. a you just wasted a shiner on a mine cichlid. Congratulations. Oh, oh that's, oh, he came off. He was on. Oh my gosh. Good hit. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn the engine off. That was a great hit. Good strong initial run. I think it's a key. I saw it. Largy. It's a largy? It's a largy. It must be a big one. Not too bad. Not too not too big. Yeah, like a pounder. You may. Oh, this upper jaw is weird. Okay, guys. Formed a little bit. And it's not a hundred percent, but whoa, he swam away. He swam away just fine, so we'll see. What do you mean? You want me? I'm getting one. Here, one on the bottom. Nope. Is there like Before it gets dark, yeah. Got about 45 minutes. Things are definitely slower than last night. All right, guys. Temperature's starting to drop a little bit. Um, you know, South Florida cold front, it's probably all the way down to the upper 60s right now. It is? Oh, you're getting followed. No, that's my shiner. And guys, what we're doing, we're just slow trolling shiners down the channel of this canal. And there's eelgrass that grows on either side of the channel. Hopefully you guys can see the eelgrass in the video. Um, we're going at a relatively slow speed. Um, probably a half mile an hour. Let's see if my remote control does say how fast we're going. Oh, it's actually, it actually says we're going one mile per hour. It's about right. So we're going about a mile per hour and a little urban canal, Broward County. Oops. And, um, same place, same time as we were last night. Uh, but we've been fishing now for about f half hour, 45 minutes. And we've got one bite, one fish, one bite. Two bites, one fish. Who got the other bite? Oh, Lorenzo had a tilapia or mine cichlid. But definitely slower, guys. The action is slower today for sure than it was last night at this time. So I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Our bait shouldn't drag on top like that. The problem is we're going against the wind. We have a north wind and we're trolling north. If we were smart, 
we would have trolled the other way. But actually, we're going to be going around a bend here pretty soon. We're going to be traveling west, and we'll be blocked from the wind because of the houses. So, uh, well, things will change for us a little bit here in a minute. I'll pick it up a notch till we get around the corner. But we're using 20-pound um, braid on these reels. And guys, some people say, why are you using pen, pen reels, you know, in the freshwater bass fishing? And to be honest with you guys, the reason we use these is because um, we just use the same reels we do freshwater and saltwater because we're always switching it up. We're always fishing snapper. We're always fishing snook. And uh, this 20-pound outfit, these little pen, I think this is a 4,500 spin fisher. Um, is, is really universal in its size and application. So we put a 20 pound braid on it. Um, we're fishing about a three or four foot, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. And we've got a number, or a 1-0 Mutu circle hook. Really lightweight circle hook so that the shiner doesn't die. Uh, that's what we're fishing. Uh, you gotta keep the shiner hook very, very, very light. Um, they are kind of wimpy. And if the tackle's too heavy, then the shiner dies. So, Lorenzo's a little slower today, huh? Yeah, it is. A little slower? Mm -hmm. Yesterday, by this time, we had several fish in the boat. And today, it's just a little slower. Is that, I don't know, guys, is, comment down below if you think yesterday we had eight fish uh, in about an hour and a half of fishing. Um, Comment down below if you think it's the barometric pressure. Yesterday was a lower barometric pressure because of the frontal boundary. Today is a higher barometric pressure. Yesterday it was rainy. Today it's more on the sunny side. Uh, and it's temperature's a little cooler today than it was yesterday. So comment down below if you think you know what the uh, difference is between yesterday and today. It's, it's definitely a difference. Right. There's a wall of eel grass right here, and there's a distinct channel that goes right in the middle. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to troll right in the channel, and uh, that's where a lot of our snook and tarpon, peacock bass, large mouths, they, they patrol the channel. Uh, and you know, some of them use the eel grass for ambush as well. So we're gonna try and see if we can hook up again, but it's a little slower today. Oh, that's a hit. Here we go. Oh, Whoa. that was a good one. Great one. Oh. Come on. Not smart. You on? Fish? Good. You want to come across me? Or are you good? Lorenzo's on. Filming, fishing, and captaining. <laughs> Lorenzo's got the the fisherman's touch here. All right, this is only our second fish of the day. It seems like he's tugging pretty decent. I have a pretty wet line. Little large mouth. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Hey, Dad, that's how you hook a fish. Yeah. Right there, that's how you hook a fish. That's a fatty. That is a fatty. Good fish, right in the corner of the mouth. We'll take that all day. I'm sorry if I'm getting up in your grill here, but I want to get some good video of your Fine. fish. This is only our second fish. About an hour and 15 minutes of fishing. Not a bad largey. Smile, buddy. Get, get him up there and smile. There you go. Two and a half pounder. Yep. Two. Two two pounders is about what we got so far. Bada bing. Did you really have to get me wet? Yeah, he got you wet. Did you really have to? That's the cold front bass. One thing about Florida, South Florida guys, the pre-spawn bite in south southernmost Florida starts a little earlier than <laughs> elsewhere in the country. And when I was up in the pre-spawn bass bite would, would really kick in. Here it seems to kick in a little earlier. Uh, middle of J January, we start really getting a lot of these one, two, three pound bedding bass, or before they go on their beds, um, they start hitting pretty good. So that's what we're getting now, guys. And 
the border, that cold front really turned them on. They're still eating a little bit, but not quite as good as they were yesterday. Nope. Watch this. I'm going to guarantee a fish near this little a bass. Guaranteed. You are? Fish on? Yep. <laughs> I told you. Wow. I, I told, did you get that? I did. Catch yours in there. Catch yours in there. <laughs> well, you think? Yeah. All right. Lorenzo guaranteed that there's a fish in there, and it actually happened. So that's something I've never seen before. A guarantee. He guaranteed that it'd be cast by those lily pads. He'd hook up a bass. And there it is, guys, an unedited clip of Lorenzo's personal fishing guarantee. And uh, it happened. Just keep him in the water. Just no, go ahead. Land your fish, man. In case you hook up. Land your fish. That's fish number three. Good job. Jeez. Well. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. That's, that's a guarantee fish right there. Personal guarantee from Lorenzo. I'm gonna guarantee a fish over by these pipes right over here. Watch this. Guarantee, guys. Oh, that is. Guarantee. Wait, we should egg them, please. You think? Like closer to the dock? I don't think so. Guarantee there's a fish right there. Let's let's see if I have the same prophetic power as my son. Pathetic? Prophetic. Oh. No, not pathetic. I said prophetic. Whoop. What, what was that? <laughs> Dude, my shiner just farted. <laughs> my shiner just farted. There's bubbles by him. My, my prophecy failed big time. I did not say, thus saith the Lord. That's for sure. All right, guys. So that's kind of the story. So far in our experience, the cold front fishing, not quite as good as at the border of the cold front. And, um, you know, we're, we've still got a little time before the sun goes down, but we've gotten four hits in about an hour and a half. And yesterday, during the actual border frontal boundary, we got slammed a whole lot more. So, um, not sure what that is. No peacocks today, guys. Um, we still got a little bit of fishing time. And if we hook up something between now and the time we go home, we'll certainly add it in. But all right, Lorenzo just hooked up under the bridge. P, nice P. Nice P, bro. Beautiful peacock that you got there, buddy. Yeah. Right, you gotta grip him. Dude, his lip is all jacked up. You get an anchor right here. Woo! Let's get another. Yep. Uh, that pretty much sums it up. It looks like the high pressure, once that frontal boundary passes through, uh, kind of slows things down a little bit. That's the experience right here. So guys, hope you like the video. Thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope you learned something. I, this is literally, we're learning right now, guys. I'm I'm learning and I'm sharing with you what I learned. Lorenzo, Here. Who's, whose bass was uh, bigger? Mine. You think? All day. Guys, God bless. Take care. Stay safe and uh, watch your lip. Take care.